Good afternoon. Today we celebrate Hallow's Mass. Today is nine days before Hallow's Mass, which is the last day of October of the year, which today people call Halloween. But Halloween stems from Hallow's Mass. Hallow's Mass, okay? Sweet Goddess tradition, friends and relations. Hallow's Mass is coming in nine days. Have you all prepped to celebrate it by yourself or in groups? This being the time of the thinnest veil between us, the living, and what's passed on. So the spiritual realm. Have you loved ones on the other side? Any of them gone by, gone over there recently, in the last year or so, or two? Um, please uh, send me your thoughts and what you want to ask them or tell them or they communicate to you. Uh, let's see, what's the next? How do you plan to celebrate Hallow's Mass? Hallow's Mass commemorates dear ones, loved ones, passed on, especially if recently. In case you've been busy and overlooked the fact that Hallow's Mass was the time people used to celebrate New Year's, May I bring that, and we might as well bring back that wonderful, joyous occasion. If you've a group meeting soon, bring me into it, please. If you like me to bring prayerful words, to your loved ones, both those here and those on the other side. Give me their names if you'd like, don't have to. And what special one words to say to each of them. I shall do that for you, if you want. All my sisters and brothers and goddess, we all being that, we are but one one who can all connect on Hallow's Mass, which is the goddess tradition New Year to begin with. So be well, take good care of self, and blessed be, now and always. of life that have I have gathered from my experiences working at PATV. So in other words, they are just some frames from my past programs at PATV. And these four in particular are from my Canadian experiences. And these two especially, although the background I believe has to do with PATV screen screen, bringing the sunset and and that the energy, the winter energy. But uh, I could be mistaken. It could have been that I had taken them because I did do some videographic, videography, some some kind of like that photographing some of them when I was 
going on the train that time before that's so it's kind of old you might say yeah well actually this from Canada that's let's see how many years is that we are since about well, three years three and a half or two and a half something like that and this is you cannot see this this is me doing single legged handstand my right leg is up see my left leg is down yeah and my hands are down like that but my right leg is up it's a single legged handstand and the interesting part is you can see since i wore green and as now i'm wearing green you see the typical canadian lake with a beautiful little island in the middle that's how it is in canada if you go visit you'll see some very beautiful lakes they may not be too big but they are some size and they all have these little islands in the middle with some trees and so forth on it. Very nice. Yeah, that's very lovely. And this one is the map. A map of not the whole Canada, but it's Ontario, Lake Ontario. And my train was going by, yeah, going to the West Coast. And if you look back, you could have seen it. Yeah, yeah. So I was just talking about it at that point. That map was gotten to me by um, Emily, Emily Eschenfelter, who's now in LA, whom I will visit shortly, uh, probably oh, early December maybe, late, uh, probably early December, I'd say, yep, this year. I'm gonna take a train trip. I wanna see her a little bit. Yeah, she's in LA, she's doing, she has her own, she and her, her, uh, I think she, is she married now? Uh, if she is, then her husband or else is, they are just a couple. Anyhow, they've got their own company that they do videos and so forth. Very nice, yeah, yeah. So that's all. So I'm gonna play the instrument and I'm going to dance, okay? Maybe, I hope I have not been cut off. If not, then I can still tell you a little bit about this little drum. It comes from China. It's very unique and it works very well. is originally from uh, Egypt. It's made in Egypt. I don't know when it was made. Very ancient, yeah? Old Egyptian tambourine. I'm very proud. I bought it from some music, some music instrument shop, I think. Either in Iowa City or in Austin, Texas. I'm not sure where, but I bought it there. Made in USA. Not a real leather drum, but it's it's the uh, it's called Interworld Music, and this is some uh, artificial, but it works. I have used it many times. I will speak right here so you'll hear I hope I have used this drum many times in the past of my program on PATV and today I want to use the, some of these noise makers bring some sounds in some sounds yeah that's very important for festivities Okay, happy Hallows Mass, everyone. Yep, yep. I should dance, shouldn't I? Okay. I will dance and then we won't.
Tell me when I, if I can have a little bit of uh, sound here. I want to give them the Chinese, those two Chinese poems I know. Okay. I'll give the Cantonese one, that long one. I'll give that at the end as well. That's very beautiful. Everybody just loves it. Yu Guang Guang Jiu Dei Tong Ni Sa Man Zhak Ban Long Ban Long Hong Zhak Yi Jiang Yi Jiang Lat Mai Fu Da Fu Da Fu Mai Ji Tou Ji Tou Fei Mai Ngao Pei Ngao Pei Ba Mai Ling Go Ling Go Ji In Mai Ma Bin Ma Bin Chong Hei Ngok Long Ngok lần cố mãi trong tố Tố chít xôi mãi phanh coi Phanh coi dền mãi chết xuyên Xuyên mẫu trái Trần sĩ lông có phanh quái trái Giác có phù thầu Giác có xâm trái Giác lấy mãi nguồn kinh trái I have in the past given that one, but I will do it again and I will explain it. And the short one is very short. It, it's when you were trying to feed a child some things, maybe some carrots, and you say, which talks about the new year because you say, which is carrots or burned lobu lobu loba lobu is is a doesn't have to be carrot could be turnip <laughs> hu hu means red yeah yeah hu lobu min min tian it's sweet min min is the sweetness of it min min tian kan dao kan dao yao guo nian look at it watch it New Year's here. Yeah. This is not Mandarin, it's not Cantonese, this is Sichuan dialect. The first dialect I learned when I was little, when I was tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's all I know. If I knew more, I'd give you more. Yep. We'll do some other ones. I don't know if you can sound, but we have this beautiful
bring you a can of miso. Explanation. Explanation. That song is about uh, a big guy, bully. He's a bully. He goes to to the uh, vegetable garden, and so he goes there. And the little Peter, little Peter, comes by. He says, "You gotta pay me." To buy, you must pay me. <laughs> the big guy, Ali, says, no, I I don't have any money. I'm not going to pay you. I'll, I'd rather give, fight with you. I'd rather fight. <laughs> oh, not so good, huh? This is, this was a song that's years, 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 decades, decades, many decades old. Because my mom learned it when she was a little little girl from some missionary. <laughs> when she went to school, she had to go to a different province. There was no school for children in her province, in fact, yeah? She had to go to the next province, yeah. That's what she did, yeah. That's what she did. And this was one of the songs she learned, of course. There's many others. <laughs> but this all the time, you know, just, but it's, it's the idea that little children may fight with each other, you know, especially if a per person is bigger, they want to take advantage, chief will take advantage of the little one, not nice. Some of this happened, right? So there. Yeah. I'm telling you that one. If I think of something else, I can give you, uh, I remember, <coughs> The olden time, many, many decades ago, when I was in China, I lived in China, I will put this on, because this has to do with, uh, let's see, maybe better, let's put it on, okay. When I used to live in China many decades ago, when I was young, I remember hearing uh, up and down the uh, the small street that we, where we live on. Uh, some somebody selling bakery goods. Yeah, yeah. Chinese use steamers. They steam buns and steam. They also have xiaobing, which they use uh, the uh, <coughs> the open fire. Uh, what do you call that thing? It, it's it's a kind of like an oven, but it's open. You, it's it's a real large uh, tall, and uh, and they put put uh, I think cement all around, and then fire comes the, on at the bottom comes up, and and uh, warms up all the sides, you know, and then they can put shopping, uh, yeah yeah real tasty, but they put it on the side, so they, so they direct have this direct heat confrontation, yeah. And real, really tasty. And they put some sesame seeds. Mmm. Some of them are salty. Some of them are sweet. Both can be. Yeah. With sesame seeds. Real nice. Yep. 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 Uh, 
we can talk some more. Where's my watch? How long have I been talking? Should I quit now? But I mean, that's just some things. I'm just giving you something, you know, about life. Life has so many possibilities, right? Have a good time. So I think what I should do is quit now, okay? Some other time we'll talk again, and I will give you some more. It would be more fun if we if we went down the road or something, you know, or go around and do something. Parade, parade around. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. If we have a parade, we'll do that. It would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Okay. Done. D-O done.